Here we are, episode one, season three of the Bedrock Guide. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited. We're on a time limit. It's gonna turn nighttime. Let's go. And I say let's go because in the beginning of a Minecraft world, when you first start out, you are racing against the sun. Because when the sun goes down, the moon comes up. And when the moon comes up, the mobs come out. When the mobs come out, you might die. So, we need to prevent that from happening. We need to get ready. We start out by punching some trees because punching trees gets us wood. Wood is the like essential item in the beginning of a really throughout the game of Minecraft. Once we have a few pieces of wood, what we're going to do is we're just going to change it all into planks for now. Uh, we are going to make a crafting table. A crafting table is like the essential thing to crafting and making things in Minecraft. This is it right here. We click on this and it gives us recipes. And the nice thing about Bedrock Edition is that if you have this little crafting table ticker, on the right hand side it shows you everything that is craftable with the materials that you have it'll tell you if you don't have the rest of the materials needed to make that whole item but anything that we can make involving wood planks it's here so let's make some sticks we would like to make an axe and we would like to make a pickaxe and that's all we're going to need for right now we're going to chop this up we're going to use the axe to chop it the axe is made to quickly get up anything made out of wood tools are purposely made in a way to where they will harvest or collect the item that they are made for faster axes for things made out of wood pickaxes for things made out of stone mostly shovels for dirt and stuff in the ground etc there's a few exceptions to how this works but for the most part that is how it works uh, we're going to collect some extra wood because wood is needed for a lot of different things so i would recommend get yourself at least a few pieces uh, while you're traveling the surface and once you have those few pieces we need to get moving uh, it would be nice to find some stone to mine up which looks like we might have a little bit down here be careful anytime you go inside of a hole because if it's dark you may find some baddies some mobs anywhere where it's dark you can have zombies and skeletons and the dreaded creeper show up uh, but we're coming down here to mine some stone because the wood tools they were just temporary you see wood based tools they are the slowest in the game we're gonna make a stone axe and a stone pickaxe because now these will work about two times faster than what we had previously we're gonna collect a little bit more of this stone which when we break it it doesn't give you stone it gives you cobblestone because you're breaking it we're gonna collect a little bit more because we're gonna need some of this cobblestone to make ourselves a furnace a furnace is gonna be exactly what we need to cook ourselves some food but first, we need to find that food source. We're gonna carry our ax with us because hopefully we've run across some animals here and an ax will help us kill them faster. Now, the reason we need to find and kill animals is because we need food. The reason we need food is because if you're not playing on peaceful mode, your hunger bar, which are those little like drumstick chicken leg looking things in the bottom uh, of the screen there, that's gonna go down as I run around. It goes down faster when I jump, which I just happen to jump a lot. Um, this random piece of meat and wool sitting here is because a wolf killed a sheep and that's good because we need to find ourselves a few sheep we need a few sheep because sheep drop wool and we have two pieces of wool now and when we get a third piece of wool we will be able to craft a bed this is going to be essential to surviving your first night because if you have a bed and you sleep in it when it gets dark outside it instantly becomes light it's like you sleep through the night without the night actually happening bad guys don't spawn you don't die. It makes your life a whole, whole, whole lot easier. But that won't be a lot of fun for our video today, will it? So uh, while we will craft our bed, and that is going to be your easy ticket to surviving your first day and night, we're going to show you all the ways to survive your first day or night. I'm going to give you all the tips and all the tricks because this is the Bedrock Guide, and that is what the guide is about, is giving you all the tips and tricks. So just in case you cannot find a bed or make a bed in your first outing, I'm going to show you how to survive. But we also need to find animals, not baby animals, like this little baby Aww. chicken right here, because uh, they don't give us food. Wolves, don't hit them. They will kill you. They don't give you food either. Uh, but we're going to find some more animals that do give food. That way we can cook it and eat. Now, I see a scary cave over here. We are not going to attack this scary cave full on right now. But what we will do is we will peek in it. Oh, here's a cow. Cows give food too. Come here, cow. Oh, and there's our third sheep. Let's get him real quick too. You may have seen I was jumping and hitting the animals because if you jump, whenever you come down, you do a critical hit on the mob doing more damage. Also, renewable food source, sweet berries. Ow. They taste good, but they also 
they also hurt if you walk into the bush but you can see our hunger bars are down we can eat three of these berries right now and that will fill us back up temporarily and keeping your hunger bar full is important because if it's not full your little hearts your health that doesn't regenerate oh, let's get some more berries here you have to have your hunger bar full up for your health to regenerate. Otherwise, you're gonna eventually die. But again, I was saying the reason why we were gonna peek in here is this right here, coal. Because if we have coal, we can cook stuff in our furnace. Um, now, you don't have to use coal. You can also use wood. And it might be the best thing for you to use early on. I'll show you the best way to do it here in a second. But coal is gonna be the most efficient way at least in the early game to cook yourself stuff in the furnace also you can use coal to make torches which are going to be super important to keep mobs from spawning we'll go over that in a little bit too okay we collected all of our coal from right here i don't think i want to venture too much further in do i out don't jump on dripstone it hurts this this is dripstone it looks like we're safe here we're gonna collect a little bit more coal oh that was a scary cave sound we're gonna get a little greedy here we're gonna collect a little bit more coal and really what we need to do more than anything right now is it's starting to get not dark but it's getting towards that time of day where we have to worry about it and um we need more food on us if we don't have enough food when it gets dark we're gonna be in an incredibly tough spot so best way we can do to find at least a decent amount of oh uh, well, I just wasted those berries. Don't place those on the ground when you're trying to run. Um, we're going to try to find some more animals. And the best way to do that is just kind of sprint around. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keeping moving is the best thing you can do in early game Minecraft because it's going to help you find everything that you're going to need to survive and thrive in your world in the early game. Um, this is sugarcane right here. I suggest pick some up now because we're going to want to plant that later. And if you can get upwards of a stack in your inventory, then that'll be good. These are foxes. They're, they're harmless. They're not going to hurt you. Just don't don't punch them. They're nice little guys. Um, we're going to run away from them because we don't need to mess with them. Here's a pig. We're finding lots of different food sources. Your best early game food source is going to be pigs and cows, beef and pork chops. It gives you the most of those little hunger bars down there and gives you the most saturation, which is an invisible statistic that you cannot see. But saturation essentially makes it so that hunger bar takes a little bit longer to go down once you eat. And that's good. It's going to help it so we don't have to eat as often um, once we cook our food, which we are going to need to cook some food. So let's put down our furnace. Let's put down our five raw beef in here. And let me show you what you can do to cook things faster if you don't have coal yet go into your crafting bench take your planks and turn a few of them into slabs turning your planks into slabs is going to be the most efficient way in terms of what you use to cook down your food don't put just a log in there don't put planks in there you get a lot more efficiency out of breaking it down into slabs and you end up not wasting fuel because it wears down fairly quickly and you can see if you take the item out or it runs out it's still going to continue to use that fuel source until it's done it, it kind of like works its way down and cooks until that little flame is gone and then it uses up the next item oh gosh and it is turning nighttime right now so we really need to get a move on so there's going to be a couple things you can do to try to keep yourself safe first thing you can do easy enough to get yourself some dirt or you could do this with the planks as well and we can like literally make ourselves a little shelter right here uh, we do not have enough dirt and it is now dark so now it's dark we need to be extremely careful because we need to survive the night we do not want to run across any creepers any skeletons any zombies anything like that now luckily they will not spawn within 25 blocks of you so if you don't move around too much you don't have to worry about them creeping up on you in a way that's going to make it so um, you get kind of like caught off guard or surprised right and as long as you have at least a too high uh, wall they cannot get to you they cannot jump over this in any way shape or form so on your first night even this right here it is totally safe you are safe from everything at this point nothing can get you now we're cooking the last of our food, and if you don't want to sit here and be bored by just sitting in this and waiting until daytime, because maybe you don't have a bed, we do, we can make a bed, and I could sleep in this bed, and if I slept in this bed, it would set my spawn point, and it would reset us to daytime. But if you don't have the bed, and you don't have a shelter, 
let me show you what you can do. If you don't have a bed and don't have a shelter, you're gonna be caught out here like this. You're out in the wild. You're running around. You don't know what to do. You're running across spiders. And oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? Well, first of all, this is Bedrock Edition. You can click really fast. And most of the time, as long as it's a melee mob, like a spider or a zombie, you can spam click them and you can kill them. Now these guys, the skeletons, he's gonna shoot arrows at you. He's gonna shoot them kind of fast. You can block his vision by getting behind a tree like I did and spam click him to kill him like that. And that may work. But honestly, if you're not confident in combat, the best thing to do, make sure you have food on your hot bar and just move quickly. Try to find yourself someplace where you can make shelter, where you can go into like a cave and put down a couple of torches or just really keep moving because you move faster than all of the mobs in the game that you can find in the overworld at least. So as long as you keep running around like this, you don't have to worry about anybody getting you. If you see these sweet berries, feel free to grab some of them. Try not to die by running into them just to get yourself extra food source. That's a creeper. Hello. That guy right there, he goes boom. Run away from him. I found this out in my hardcore world. It's not pleasant. Do it. <laughs> oh no! I thought he could hurt me in the water! Bruh. That right there, that's a witch. Don't, oh, there's a zombie right there. Do not run anywhere close to that witch. She can throw a poison at you that will take you down to a half heart of health, meaning if you get hit one time, you will die. So again, just keep moving. As long as you keep moving, don't get yourself in a situation where you can get trapped. You will be just fine. Another thing you could do to help yourself out in surviving the first night is get yourself up to high ground. If you get up to high ground, you can kind of see everything around you pretty easily. So we're gonna go in this direction. There's some light coming from that lava right there. That blocks spawns around that area. Um, I don't see an easy path up there. So we're gonna kind of run around the side of this thing a little bit. And we're gonna see if we can jump ourselves up here. Sometimes that's not always easy to do, but as long as you keep making your way upwards, odds are you'll be okay. You'll continue to find a path that will take you up to the top of any mountain that you're trying to climb. Now, one last tip to trying to stay alive. Maybe you don't have a lot of food to run around. Maybe you didn't make a bed. Maybe you're kind of caught in a bad situation where you have these kind of guys spawning. And you're spam clicking to kill them, but they keep spawning in on you. Oh, there's a, a pillager outpost. We're going to stay away from that. We'll go over those later. You're caught in a situation where you don't want these guys to come get you. Quickly, go to your inventory. Make yourself some sticks. You can shift and hold down the click button. And I think there's buttons on the controller where you can make everything in that category as well. We're going to shift click and make some torches here. And we're going to place them around. Because remember, I said earlier, my will not spawn around light this includes torches that you place down as well so if you can quickly run around place some torches around yourself you will ensure that while mobs they can still come to you they will not spawn anywhere close to you because these torches are gonna block their spawns so if we run around enough and kind of reach out a little bit further than the area where we're trying to kind of hang out and wait the night out like this we have now made ourselves a somewhat safe space. I do have the zombie right here to deal with. You see me getting those critical hits because the little particles coming off of him. Now I can use my time wisely here because I have this, um, looks like a little cave here. I can collect myself some of this uh, coal. I can get myself some extra stone as well. This will allow me to make extra torches to make more stone tools if I need them a little bit later before we find iron. And if you're doing this, just make sure you kind of keep tabs of like what's going on around you. Don't let um, any mobs surprise you. Make some more torches. We can set some more of these down in here just to make sure no mobs spawn in close to us and sneak into us just like that. And believe it or not, you have yourself a somewhat safe area. Check your back every once in a while just to be sure. But we have ourselves a pretty safe area. And we just found our first iron. This is actually incredibly important to do in the early game if you could have done it earlier you want to have done it earlier but we didn't have that opportunity to us so we didn't get to but with this iron oh wow we found a lot of it actually um, we could take our furnace we could place it down if we place it down right here we actually make it so mobs can't get to us uh, we could place a piece of coal in here and we could place our eight pieces of iron in here and now we will have some iron cooking and we can use iron for a number of different things so now with that iron cooking down we can go ahead and we can take our crafting table we can take that back out go over to the equipment menu you can now make yourself a shield shields are ultra important they will block mobs from being able to hit you 
Also ultra important is making armor. While we don't have a lot of iron for a lot of different armor, we do have some. We're gonna let the rest of this smelt down and we're gonna make ourselves the most expensive piece of armor we can with what we have, which in our case here today, I think will be a pair of pants. And it is a pair of leggings, yes. So we can make a pair of leggings and you're gonna see an armor bar now appear above my health. This is telling us how much protection we are being provided from mobs. So now it should be daytime. Oh, it is. We survived our first night down there in the cave. We have ourselves a leggings and all of the mobs that were alive, at least some of them, they're going to be burning up and dying now. Zombies and skeletons burn in the daylight. You don't have to worry about any of them. As far as the shield goes, I'll have to show you how to use that in the next episode because today was purely about surviving your first night. Hopefully I showed you all the tips and tricks that you need to survive your first day and your first night. If you have any tips and tricks that I did not cover or did not have time to cover, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below. I will be going over your tips and tricks, the best ones, the ones that the people click the like button to the most and find the most useful. We will go over those in future episodes and I will highlight them right here for you guys. But as far as things are concerned for episode one, we are done. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment down below to make those YouTube analytics work for me. And it's the best donation you can give. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.